Good evening and welcome back once again. In the last match, our star signing Martinelli made his debut and he scored and he got man of the match. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Now, just because of the way we play and we do like to rotate, he will be starting from the bench today. And that's mainly because, again, like I say, just anyone that's starting to lose a bit of energy and we've got other players who are in form and full energy, we're going to play them. Mudrik will start on the left. He's been an outstanding player for ourselves, so it's not like we're we really downgrading. Ruben Castro is going to start up top with Carlos Perez on the right. Bit of a change in midfield. We've got Herrera, Alex Mariba and Bajer sitting in the centre there. The normal wing-backs are Baka and Emerson, but we are going to start with a new partnership of Balbuena and Ogbonna who are two youngsters. They're both regens from the youth squad. And another regen, which was Mandanda, who's going to be our second choice goalkeeper. He is going to start because she was on a bit of a downward form. And back at home, I was really hoping that Martinelli could play in our first home match, that we had a chance to play him. But got to think of the big picture. There's a lot of games in January. There's like only three or four days between each match in the next couple of weeks. And we've got Real Madrid next. I'm hoping that in the next match, they I mean, they will be fully fit, the players I'm not starting today. But will they be on good condition, on good form? Because that's what I want. Ideally, I'd love to play Martinelli either on the left or up top. And the likes of Vieira coming back in and uh, Cousins, etc. That would be brilliant. We'll have to wait and see. You've just got to play, hope for a bit of luck. On the condition front, you can never really tell what it's going to be. Oof, that was dangerous defending. Yeah, you can plan for the energy side as much as you want, but then I've done it plenty of times. I've rested people, and then the next match they're fully fit, but they're on like a downward red or a, a downward or, diagonal orange, for example. And it just backfires, but Perez, oh, blocked. That's just the way it is. I mean, obviously, condition um, players have a condition number associated in their stats, and the better the number, the less likely they are to have poor condition, and they're more likely to have a very good condition. But it's still a little bit of luck either way. I'm trying to get the ball through to Mudrik there. A lot of places up for grabs now, pretty much every position. There's not really what you'd call a guaranteed starter because we do like to rotate anyway I mean if you were just going purely based on um, you know all of the squad were fully fit and they were all on the same condition you know like on good condition for example we do have players that are first choice um, Here's Perez driving forward. Mudrick. Perez just about wins it back. Oh, Perez hits the post. Wow. That'll be our throw in. I tried to cancel the run, I didn't somehow, but we still get our throw. Oh, nice overlock by Emerson there. And it deflects. Oof. Nice attempt at a header. That, well, it was a header. Somehow diverted that to be on target. And the keeper made a, a reaction save. Perez to Castro. To Mudrik. Uh, I tried to play it back to Castro. It wasn't a very good pass, though. It was a difficult pass to pull off, to be fair, for, to Mudrik. Here's Castro. He's so good on the turn. But even he couldn't... Uh, nice little shimmy from Emerson. Cher can't get it. Feeling a bit claustrophobic uh, when we're getting in the final third. There's a lot of players in there. And if you are regular, you may notice... Either you may not notice, but... We have changed uh, some of the squad numbers, not all of them or anything, but just ones to maybe a bit more reflect what the numbers should be um, based on position. But we've kept some that we 
I thought about changing like the likes of Herrera, who who is currently a seven to a four, but uh, Cousins has done that instead. Anyway, but yeah, like the likes of Emerson with a number three, but well, then I think he had a fifteen. Uh, the centre backs getting their proper squad numbers, but they're not playing today. The original, the, sorry, the the main choice centre backs. Anyway, here's Mariba. It's a poor ball. It was a tight one, but it's easily a pass that Mariba could pull off normally. Here's Perez. Nice ball from Castro. Perez. Oh, what a goal. That was absolutely thumped in. It was a nice one too, but he had a lot of work to do. Keep had no chance. So he's driven in with lots of curl in the corner. Not the best of camera angles there. What a goal. And you would say Perez is probably number one choice on that right hand side. Um, there's very few times where he doesn't play for a tactical reason. Nice tackle from Emerson there. A nice ball from oh, Castro somehow didn't take the ball. That'll go down as a missed pass, but it wasn't really. Hasn't been a fluent game, I wouldn't say. Nice tackle. Oh, come on. Don't get me started again on these free kicks, please. Play there. Let me drink with a little bit of space. And here's Castro. And again, I should have scored. Should have scored. That was a lovely one, too. But it's one and a half time. Should have been more. And Valencia actually had the majority of the possession, but nothing to show for it. No shots at all. We mainly hit them on the counter attack. Let's hope for a better second off. I mean, that was decent. We had chances. I really should have had at least two goals, maybe three in that half. 1-0, certainly not doing um, justice to the chances we created, even if we weren't at our fluent best. Oh, Mudrick, lovely play. Castro. Oh, he gets taken out there. Just was tackled at the last second. Nice tackle by Mariba. And now Mudrick. Oh, deflected. Straight into the keeper's hands. Nice header by Balbuena. Haven't seen much of Bouger, really. Nice ball from Castro. Bit of a tight angle that time for Perez, but it was the same idea. He's back at Namariba. No one out there on the left. That's poor from Emerson. It's got to be clearing that first defender, really. That was a shocking throw as well. Let's make some subs. 
So we're going to take Ruben Castro off and put on Arcas, switch Carlos Perez to being up front. Bajer is going to come off after having a fairly quiet game, hunting on, and Bak is going to come off to give him a rest for the next game. Yeah, I wasn't keen on taking Castro off, but he has got some tired legs and he's played decent. It just hasn't quite come off for him in this game. And Perez, well, just going to say, just lost the ball, but. Perez normally does a very good job when he switches up top and he's on a upward form. So if he gets a chance, could be in luck. But remember, it's still only 1-0. Nice tackle from Texher who's just come on. And he's still driving forward. Still. Oh. With his right, I wish he had a used his left there. Great tackle. Holding off challenges. Oh, it's just wide. But I think if he had hit that with his left, it might be going on target. Great stop by Teixeira, though, coming off the bench. Here's Carlos Perez. No Modric. That's not a great ball by Modric. Well, that... No, it was a good tackle. Nice play by Mudrick, winning the ball back. Mariba now. Carlos Perez. Lost the ball. I was kind of looking for a bit of support there. And there's nothing really there. Somehow lose it there. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't even want to watch that. I should have really, because that's not really... It was a good call. It was one of those, though, where, you know, you try and tackle and the ball just seems to keep going to the opposition. Poor defending on my part. Here's Mariba. Carlos Perez. Mariba. Oh, should have scored. Oh, it was a tight angle, but. Teixeira. Teixeira. Oh. Has he blown for the free kick? He has. I was going to say, the referee played on probably rightly so. I'm glad he's uh, brought her back. Not that I'm the best at taking free kicks. Uh, you do want to take it. Yeah, let's have Carlos Perez taking it just because he's on that upward form. That's straight at the wall. And again, the play on. Carlos Perez. What was that? That was offside. Yeah, poor free kick. I need to practice those. I've said it before, but um, I don't often get them in match. I don't get many free kicks in genuine goal-scoring positions. But maybe that's even more why I should pass it or look on some tips what to do. Specific to... Oh, good save. Busy talking away when Ali... Ali losing there. Oh, and that's a poor pass. I wasn't trying to play to him. I really wasn't. Well defended. But we're under the cosh a little bit here. Clive at Sunny turned into a will beat it. Ah, oh, that's just sloppy for Mudrick. But again, there wasn't much support. I needed something on the other side, really. Oh, oh Cass. Oh, it's behind Harrington. Ah, oh, of all the people, Perez as well. He's normally so good at passing.
Mudrick. He just ran straight into the defender. Thank you. I was going to say, surely that wasn't a foul against me. What was that? It was a horrendous pass. Yeah, I had to. I had to. I knew it was going to be a foul, but I couldn't risk it. Not with one minute remaining. And there it is, full time. Thought we had a chance for a counter attack. What a strange game that was, though. Yeah, 50 50 possession. I remember Valencia had the majority of the possession in the first half. They scored pretty much from their only genuine chance. And we just weren't clinical. It didn't quite click in the last third. We had some genuine chances where we should have scored, especially in the first half. And ratings wise, Carlos Perez, yep, certainly would say he was man of match. Ruben Castro getting a 7.5. Glad to see that. We are still eight points clear of Atletico Madrid. Massive match coming up next, though. Away to Real Madrid at the famous Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Really looking forward to that one. Games are coming thick and fast. If you look on the bottom there, playing on the 14th, then the 17th, then the 21st, then the 24th, and there's more matches coming after that. So pretty much a game every three days. But hope you'll join me for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.